this question, we are asked to determine the length of PQ and we are told to leave our, our answer in cert form. And this is the formula that you use to determine the length of any side. So we we'll do uh, distance for PQ. That is equal to... Uh, okay, I like to use the root form, but you can just put the square there. But if you do that, then you, you're not going to put the square root to the side. But either way, you're going to get the same answer. And you put that in brackets. Add just make sure that if you started with x to the side, you also start with y to that side, otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. And then we substitute our values, and that's um, one minus six. Sorry, don't forget the square there. And then plus um, 0 minus 3. You square that as well. And you just punch this whole thing into your calculator. Don't try to work it out manually. Okay, I can't find any, my calculator anywhere around, so I can just do this manually. But try as much as you can to just punch the whole thing into your calculator to avoid the possibility of making any mistakes. So that's minus 5 squared, we know that's going to be a 25, plus negative 3 squared, that's going to be a 9. Square root of that, uh, 25 plus 9, that's uh, 34, so the square root of 34. Okay, I think I'm going to need my calculator for that, even though I think it's, you know, just to be sure, even though I think it's simplified. But yeah, I think that's that should be my final answer. I don't think you can simplify that any further.